after an inspiring week of visiting entrepreneurs and an intense day of hearing them pitch, it's now time for us to reach a decision. Who should the Key Z support? If I had the £20,000 and I'm supposed to div uh, divide it, for security, I would go for Zane and Jeremiah. I would probably give them 10. Then I'll take 10,000 pounds, and then I'll probably give five to Giuliani. And then I'll go to give 5,000 to Cecilia. We took pictures from all of them, and I, I, I really can't understand why, how within those pictures, it's, it's influenced you to to, to invest in him because he gave no reason at all. I think it's because probably I understand, I see exactly what money can come out of that because I'm in the music industry. But he couldn't tell us what money could come out of it. He didn't give us any numbers. Probably he didn't know how to do it, but the reality is he has survived this far as the only hip hop artist was a vision that is giving back. So I see myself in him. It's in my interest to try to help hip-hop grow in Kenya. From what we heard today, in all honesty, my reputation will be shot and I cannot uphold putting no. Kizzy money into Giuliani because he gave us no reason No, 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 at this all. is not he you. He guessed at numbers. He didn't give us any reason he's got a business in hip-hop city today at all. This as a show is just showing who I am and the choices that I'm making inside here. But now here, I'm not allowed to make the choices. No, yeah, that's not true. So if I'm going to be pulled to invest on in what you want, that's not fair for me. So when I say, okay, I don't agree where you want to invest, give me my part and let me invest. Giving him £5,000, I might as well give to a random person on the street because they will have told me as much about how he can create that business as he did today. For now, we may look at it like the keys is not doing a good investment. But you may be shocked that Hip Hop City become the home. Maybe. The it's entire not a risk I'm prepared East to make Africa. at this point. And we split the money. There's another way of doing it. I won't put my name to it. You don't put your money no. on, on... Therefore, on. instead, we've got £15,000 and you take £5,000 out of the keys and you make a private investment in that. After an excruciating tussle of ideas and thoughts, Paul and Emmanuel were finally able to reach a mutual agreement. He's so impressed by the scalability opportunities and the way you thought through the business. Mm -hmm. And you know, from what we can afford, we think that we can you know, get just a salary for six months. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully in that six months, she'll have proved and be already creating right. employment and creating new people. We offered CTC International an investment of 15,000 pounds. This will help hire a full-time staff for six months for their Lifeline fashion brand. I think you know, we've just been so impressed by you specifically, Cecilia, in terms of what we've seen all week. That not only the fact that you do social, so much social stuff for children, make a massive difference to all of those lives, but actually you are a really good entrepreneur. You had answers to all the questions that we are, some of the difficult questions about how the whole business struck together. And I think you've got a lot of potential to grow the catering side, and you do need to focus more on that, or have a team focusing on that. We weren't able to give Cecilia the investment which she asked for, but we still felt like her work was deserving of some sort of support. The Kizzy decided to offer £5,000 of investment for her to start buying some of the equipment she needed for her catering business. We decided the remaining entrepreneurs were not ready for a cash investment from us, but we really wanted to support them in other ways. So we did we felt Grabberbook could put more thought into their financial projections. We have offered to provide pro bono business services from a top accounting firm in Kenya. This will help them to develop and further grow their business. We thought Youth TV would be more sustainable if they focused on producing content. So we offered to give them mental hours with a UK-based production company. This would enable them to improve their production value, thus increasing their revenue streams. We think that the vision of Hip Hop City is awesome. Yeah. But the business plan today kind of didn't stack up or kind of what needs, needs work to, to be done. Yeah. We really caught the vision for the hip-hop city, but we also knew it had a long way to go before it could become anything tangible. The Key Z team has personally offered to provide Giuliani with one-on-one -on -one mentorship for the next 12 months. Just being here alone is, is sometimes enough because mm -hmm. you can learn a lot. I just have a vision of how it's going to do. I know a little bit about it. Mm. If I don't have a hard facts, I need to think more about that. 
Muyu. Eh. Africa can only grow as an economy for the next hundreds of years. We have like 800 million people now, and Africa supplies the entire world with natural resources. And so with so much manpower, with new skills coming in, this continent is the next biggest thing. This is where every business person should want to be here. What's happening in this city, in this environment, is uh, big. A glass to new friends, to business, to children, to Kenya and to Africa. Right, cheers! In a world that's never been richer, it's pretty disgusting that there are children that haven't got a shelter, or haven't got clothes, or haven't got food, or haven't got drink, or are caught in war and are a child soldier. All of those things can be changed and um, I'm passionate about trying to affect some of those changes. Doing good things is like putting a spotlight in a dark place. When you have empowered one person, it's like you've lighted a candle and those lights will create a beam of light one day to put the darkness off. It's been amazing being here in Kenya and we're really looking forward to travelling the rest of the continent to help unlock Africa's potential.